Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. Let's say you're using Pro Tools and you got a big mix going with a lot of plugins. What you may encounter is some timing delays on those tracks. What you'll learn how to do is use the Time Adjuster plugin to compensate for those delays. Let's check it out. I got a song here and I got some plugins going on. And what happens is the more and more plugins you start adding onto your session, the more your tracks are going to be delayed by samples. So this is going to throw off the timing of your tracks with each other. And when bouncing your track to disc, this isn't going to be good because things are going to be slightly off time with each other. So to find out this delayed amount, you want to go down to where it says volume, hold down command, and then two clicks will give you the delay value. So you want to do this for all your tracks. and find out which is the highest track delay. So this instrument track here is being delayed the most with 10 samples. So what you wanna do is instantiate the time adjuster plugin on the rest of your tracks. And you wanna instantiate it after the last plugin on each track. So to get to the time adjuster plugin, go to plugin, delay, and then go all the way down to the time adjuster. So you have long, medium, and short. So the short, you can delay up until 259 samples. Medium, 2,051 samples, and long, 8,195 samples. So it's only 10 samples, my instrument track, so I'm gonna do short. So when you open that time adjuster plugin, just go to where it says delay, and you can either double click in there and type it in, or you can adjust the little slider, little fader right here to find the right amount of samples. And then what you could do is hold down option, click on the time adjuster plugin, and then drag it to the next track so it copies the exact information. So once you do this, now all of your tracks will be delayed by those 10 samples. So now they're all going to play in time and in sync with each other, which is what you want. So once you start doing more and more plugins, you got to keep checking to see which track is being delayed by the most amount of samples and then put the time adjuster on the rest of those tracks and adjust it to that highest delay.